I do not know what is happening next for Bitcoin. And before you lose your mind screaming at me, what? I just clicked on this video for the answers. I want to be told what is happening next. What trade should I be taking? I'm actually here in this video, of course, to give you a technical analysis, to share with you my predictions, upcoming trades, and exactly how I am going to be trading next. No difference there, but I want to be very honest and transparent with you in this video and why I want to form a connection with you into your brain because I want to start to change the way that you think and approach trading from the ground level up. This is a game of probabilities. There are no certainties. So, of course, I cannot tell you exactly what is going to be happening next on Bitcoin but I sure can give you very high probabilistic outcomes. And that is how we need to get into our trading minds, into the charts, as I really try my absolute best <laughs> to help you out in this video. One step at a time, let's go into the charts and cover what we've currently got going on, right? So to do this, I will always do the same. I want to bring it back a few days. Why? Because we need to understand the context of this move. So really simply, we all know, right, we are very much range bound overall. So if we just hide some of these higher term time frame levels and we add back on this parallel channel, overall, we've just been very range bound for the past few months, right? F resistance at around $73,000, support of around $60,000. We of course from here have an overall range high and what we had was an overall range low. From there we of course uh, started to form within that range some lower high structures and as you hopefully can remember I gave you the short trade setup at $67,000 not only giving that setup but of course the most important thing taking that short trade setup at $67,000 and this is what I what I mean right there's no uh, I cannot tell you what's going to be happening but I can give high probabilities so you can see here the prediction has come up hit the range point of control get a rejection back down to the overall range low okay as you can see we come up we hit the range point of control we make our way down to the overall range low and when of course you add on the fixed range tool on this that's what it looked like okay come up take out the range point of control come down to the lows that's what the prediction was and that is how it played out very well and that is how i secured that short trade then what do we have going on next well from that short trade we are looking for longs where at the range low we're waiting for a move down to form a failed auction of the range low which gives us a long trade setup so again i cannot tell you what's going to be happening with a hundred percent certainty but i can give very high probabilities and once again we drew the magic line for the fake out and rise and what happened next? We got the move down to form the fake out and the rise back up. Okay. And of course, just as I took the short at $67,000, I did also take the long trade as we got acceptance back into that range. So then that leaves me in a position now where I still have a short from $67,000 and a long from around $58,000 on the reclaim. Here we are today trading at around $62,000, which is pretty much bang on in the middle. So with that in mind, what are we looking at next? OK, what do we have in terms of high probability trade setup? So for that, we are naturally going to add back on some of our levels. Again, we have <laughs> we are just looking here at some higher term time frame levels, but we do really want to start to be looking at Elliott Waves. OK, adding on Fibonacci within here, adding on some <clears throat> geometry tools such as pitchforks, speed fans, etc. But I'd like to keep these public videos fairly simple, to be honest with you. And so what we are actually in right now is what I would class in the middle of a little bit of a inefficiency. Why? Because on Friday, we got this very quick move to the upside. This is not all single prints because, of course, single prints are formed on the 30 minute chart. But nevertheless, we are in a area which on Friday was a very quick move to the upside. We had a mini range low and a mini range high over the weekend okay and of course that has broke to the downside so this you can see how this is a very much fractal price action from when we zoom out how we had that range going on which broke to the downside that obviously ended in the fake out right so we could be looking for the same similar scenario with a fake out back upwards we do have that ccv setup today as well okay so that's something to bear in mind of how that could play out but 
What I'm first and foremost focusing on is this area of the inefficiency. And again, we do have a CCV setup. It's not activated yet, but we have some bullish signs, right? But we also have some bearish signs. So what is that? We had, as I just mentioned, a mini range to be trading yesterday. We actually bounced off value areas three times very perfectly. Indeed, that's broken to the downside. We are now in this inefficiency. So that would, your first thoughts, I would hope, would be, okay, that is a bearish sign. We've lost the previous main, previous mini range value area low. We have got down an acceptance into the inefficiency. Okay, the support, what we could say, slight support below has not been tapped yet. We didn't take out $62,000 psychological. So that would leave you to believe, okay, the highest probability is lower, right? From a simple fact of what I've just stated. And again, if this is above your level and it's confusing anything I've just said, check out the membership, right? Just come over here, watch the videos, learn, and everything's going to make full on sense. But I hope that the majority of you have already watched that and you're so far in line with what I'm saying. So how could that change? And this is where I start to talk to you about mindset, okay? And this truly, it truly is the most important part of trading. It's this, it's all in the brain. And I, and I sometimes, you know, of course, I journal all my trades, I'm running my statistics, and, you know, I'm very focused on, on that side of trading. But I also journal and try and improve myself with my delivery of content, right? Myself as a mentor, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to improve that aspect greatly. And I actually wrote some interesting notes to myself. You know, my, my trades are going well, but I still see some people struggling. People are still unable to comprehend my style of trading, okay? And I, and I have to reflect on that myself as a mentor, right? What can I do to improve? And again, I could be lazy and complacent and ignore that, but that, that's not me. I'm always looking to improve myself. I've always got something new to learn. And so I really spent a few minutes, a few minutes, but I really spent some time, right, thinking about this, okay? And, and I actually thought it was very simple, okay? And it comes down to me that I, I think I can sometimes make things seem too easy, and that gives off unrealistic expectations, right? And you have to remember, right, I've been doing this 14 years. It is a long time. That's every single day. I've not missed a day of trading in 14 years. I've been looking at the chart through stickers, through hell, through X, Y, and Z, you name it. I've been looking at the charts, right? And through that level of dedication uh, has given me the level of trader I am today. And I, and I reflect on notes, okay? And I, and I realize I, I can do better through my explanations. And what I want to go to here is when, when we look at the charts and I, I, I think I make the mistake of making it look too easy and I need to give the reminder that this is not easy. Uh, as I started the video, I do not know what is happening next on Bitcoin. And I hope that offers you some level of ease almost of, of thinking to yourself, Daniel doesn't know what's happening next. This guy's made a bunch of money uh through trading you know i, I don't need to don't need to be here today right i could be off on a private island relaxing doing nothing for the rest of my life but i choose to come here every day and that was another well i, I, I sometimes go off on tangents but that was an interesting question i received a few days ago of like how do you still stay dedicated like you've got everything that anyone would ever need like why do you how, you know how do you let maintain that level of dedication to the charts how, how are you still coming to the markets and looking at it and for me it's it truly is a passion and it's a love you know i love what i do i truly am addicted to the charts i i i, I love it and that's why i'm so happy to turn up every day and look at these charts for me it's just like a video game if i wasn't here right now hey i'd be i'd be on doing one of these things playing star wars playing zelda you name it like i'm just a geeky person i love to be in front of the computer so for me, this is just, it's a video game and I enjoy it. But anyway, going back, that's a tangent for another video, right? Let's bring it back to the technical analysis. Let's bring it back to the charts. I'm sorry, I apologize. Sometimes I, I just go off on what I'm saying, but I do want to try and keep it fairly focused and not make this too long, right? Uh, if you want to, if you want to hear my thoughts on that, hey, let me know down below and maybe I'll do a live stream for you. But uh, for now, back to the technical analysis. Sorry, I get distracted. But yeah, I, I can make things seem too easy, right? I have these predictions, but 
you know, this is a prediction off of a failed auction. I also had a prediction that would have been price coming to $50,000. Okay. And I think that's what sometimes people get very confused at. They say, Hey, Daniel, uh, you, you've made a predict, or you've predicted both sides of the market. You cannot be wrong. And I, and I do understand how people can say that, right? They could say, oh, Hey, Daniel, you've predicted a drop to 50,000. You've predicted a failed auction. How can you lose? Well, in this example, how I could have lost is if price had just reversed here. I would have been totally incorrect, right? I was saying in the video, I am bearish, I am looking for a drop, and I'm looking for the range low test. So if price had just suddenly bounced from here, I would have been wrong. How, are, how you can view it is, hey, Dan, you, you, you cannot be wrong with your prediction. Yes, if we come down to range low and we had simply not formed the failed auction, I would have looked for 50,000, right? But we form the failed auction. And again, there's no hindsight here. Live in the time I tell my team I'm taking that long trade. The same here, right? I also had a prediction where we could come to new all-time highs. But what happened? I had the analysis laid out and a plan of action where we need to test that range point of control. So again, how could have I been wrong in this? Again, I'm telling you all my next target is $67,000. I could have been wrong, right? If we had just fallen down from here, I would have totally missed that short trade. I would have been extremely frustrated, by the way, if I had missed this short. But I, I, I could have been wrong by if we had just fell down here. I was predicting that rise and test of 67K. And of course, when we done that, again, no hindsight, live in the time I'm telling my team, on the 23rd, I have taken the short trade. You know, I've been planning for this. We got the reaction. I'm taking that short. So you can see, I do not know what's going to be happening next, but I do have these high probability outcomes. It just requires patience, first of all, for my level to be hit, and then check the reaction. When you actually zoom out here and you check those reactions, you can see they are fairly simple, right? Look at this, just wicks onto the range point of control the most bearish reaction you could see and in the in the low i mean it's a failed auction setup so i don't class this as too difficult okay but you can see really clearly as you start to get acceptance back above that is confirming the failed auction that is then how you can take shorts at the highs longs at the lows and now what i am left in is a position where um i am remaining a little bit patient here right i do not foresee where we are right here as a high probability trade setup why because as i mentioned we have some bullish factors in terms of a bullish ccv setup we have formed a failed auction of the low but we also have some bearish signs we are back into an inefficiency we have lost the previous range uh, mini range here point of um, value area low right so there are some conflicting signs so I can tell you, I do not know where price is going next. And what does that mean for me as a trader? It means I'm not going to take a trade here. I have no interest in trading $62,400. Why? Because that's not a high probability trade setup. Myself as a trader, I'm waiting for the best trades. I'm waiting for the shorts at the very highs and longs at the very lows. You give me a move here into an inefficiency after breaking down, but we've got some bullish divergences, right? We have got some bullish setups in front of us. We do have some naked pointed controls just below. For me, this is too much of a gamble for me to want to be involved. And that is what I really want to try and connect to you in this video. If there's one thing you take away, please just remember these words. I, and, and if being honest here, nobody, and this is the thing, right? In crypto, there's too many scammers. People are really going to want you to believe they know what's happening. No, let me, nobody knows. Nobody knows, not even myself. <laughs> okay. But take that as easing factor that nobody knows what's going to happen next, but we do have high probabilities. So that means that we need to wait patiently for those high probability setups, right? We need to avoid taking bad trades. We need to wait for the very best trades. So of course, I want to move on to explain what those next best trades are. For all that, I have a very quick announcement for you. And that is, of course, announcement number one. Severin is doing live trading now, which is a very nice thing indeed. Severin, great trader indeed. Coach at Chart Champions. Announcement number two was that rivalry is added in his Asian session update. So every Tuesday and Thursday at 2 a.m. UK time, 
uh, all those Asian session updates that people are waiting for, you now have via Rivalry. Of course, he's over in California, so perfect time for him. Announcement number three is that we have introduced Power Hour Live Trading, which you actually have today. So if you are a futures trader and you want to trade the Power Hour, you can do that today uh, in the new session that we've announced. Announcement number four, we are not stopping, right? Uh, well, they had that other one of Igor's Quant Tower templates. If you want the templates for Quant Tower, that's out. But announcement number four is that I am also starting now live trading. And I'm doing this in a way where I'm going to be building up my accounts. I'm going to create a brand new fresh account. I'm going to show the trades that I'm taking on live stream. And we're going to be tracking these trades week on week. Okay, so I will be showing you the exact setups that I'm waiting for, the exact setups that I'm taking live on the exchange. Okay, placing those orders every week following along with those trades. So you can see the uh, PL growth of how I grow my accounts time after time. I've done challenges before. What did I do? One to 10 Bitcoin challenge. Then I went from a two to 20 Bitcoin challenge. I built an account from oh man this was this was like two years ago but this was this was on stream as well it went from like i think i started at ten thousand dollars i built it to over a million dollars and now i'm going to be doing myself another challenge which is really simply just uh from a more of a swing traders style perspective just giving you the analysis i've not put in like a number on it okay i'll maybe start with like one ten thousand dollars something and i'll just show you that I'm going to keep this open for like a year and in a year we'll see how how much I get to right but I'm just going to show you that this is how we go for this account growth it's it's not by taking bad trades rushing into things but it's by waiting for these best trade setups that we get into very high win rates and well I'm going to show you all in front of your eyes there's going to be no messing around here putting my money where my mouth is and really simply doing what I've done for the past 14 years and that's winning trades so if you want to be seeing that live in the time uh, the exact trades that I'm lining up for the exact trades that I'm taking my live trading starts this month too so everything that you need is in front of you right now we are just continuously adding continuously building and yeah these are just a few of the features that we've released this month indeed like we continue we continue to grow and um so now where I was saying what I am waiting for next so honestly I am waiting for Two major levels. In, in in my opinion, we have two major levels around us. Okay, in terms of support and resistance. And again, are there trades to be had locally? Well, yes. We got a bullish CCV setup if we get into the value area low, in my opinion. We got the naked point of control just below us, which is currently around the monthly um if I remember myself, around the monthly VWAP, right? So you can see the current monthly VWAP coming in at 61.125, just below price action. And the previous month VWAP, of course, still resistance at 65.800. So we're, we're very much closing in on these VWAPs previous month to current month. Uh, view at which for me are very important levels uh, so we got support still ultimately sat around 61,000 and resistance around 66,000 of course if we break the monthly view app it is a very high probability that we're coming back to test those lows that we formed on Wednesday the first and if we can reclaim the previous month view app of course we've simply got to retest that uh, level at around 60 7,400, which is a naked point of control, time naked point of control from the TPO charts. Uh, but that's really what we'd be looking for if we can get above the uh, previous month VWAP. And of course, then onwards and upwards, level to level. Uh, but for me, those would be the next crucial levels that we have coming up, in my opinion. The current month VWAP and the previous month VWAP lose the monthly VWAP, look towards new lows, reclaim the previous month VWAP, the massive test of 67,400 reclaimed that I, I think is very bullish indeed. But of course, just as we can lose support, I feel that's very bearish indeed, right? So, um, you know, myself as a trader, I open myself up to both sides of the market. I'm looking for longs, I'm looking for shorts. Um, I do not say I'm perfect. I make mistakes. Okay, I take some losing trades. I am a human just like you. And I hope that inspires you that it's, it's, it's a journey, right? I've gone through the tough times, I've gone through the pain, I've gone through the suffering. Um, you know, I, I, I really want you to view me as somebody that has ups and has downs, right? I, I understand that I have a bad habit, you could say, maybe of making things seem too easy. But I, I don't know, I, I, 
I kind of do view it as easy, to be honest with you. Um, I have a special connection to the market. Well, I, I, I feel I have a special connection with this market. I feel like I'm guided and I don't know. I just I'm very good at waiting for good probabilities. I think it's, it's kind of it's as simple as that, maybe. And um, but I understand, you know, you asked me this question 10 years ago. Well, I wouldn't have had the same answer. Right. So I, I really want to just try and come back to the basics, help you out from my heart, because that, that's why I'm here at the end of the day. I am here to help. And so I just try and aim and give myself targets of remaining honest, remaining transparent, right? You're never going to see me sell out. You're never going to see me strive for any exterior goal. Like my, my goal here is to help you. And um, yeah, to do so, I want to just give you my honest opinions of these charts and to remind myself and to remind you, we are going to take losses. There are going to be difficult times. Okay. But you know, it's like, you have to focus on the overall picture, right? I, I can take a few losses in a row, but then I'm winning my next 10. So I'm still ending on very high win rates. And, and that's what you've got to be focused on. And again, it takes time. It takes dedication, uh, determination. But uh, you can get there in the end. And I, I feel myself and many other champions now are living proof of the results that you can get fire actually properly dedicating yourself to learning to trade and successfully doing it so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up here i i'm truly honestly intrigued by what the feedback will be on this video leave me a comment down below I, I of course i always read every single one let me know whether you enjoy these style of videos just let me know do you prefer a quick 10 minute update solely focused on technical analysis do you like it when i go off into tangents maybe talk about some real life topics psychological trading topics okay do you enjoy me expanding upon those types of things or do you just want pure analysis hey um at the end of the day it's my channel i'm gonna do what i want but i will also of course take into consideration what the majority want too uh, I do enjoy talking about the psychological facts of trading night because I do believe it helps. But uh, sometimes I, I just am interested, right, what you also would like to see too. So let me know down below. I hope you have a very good week ahead. If you want to see more from myself and the rest of the team, of course, you can get that via Chart Champions. We got daily live stream updates multiple times a day now. Uh, of course, you have the whole educational library from beginner to master courses. Uh, you have all the cheat sheets, all the templates, everything that you need. OK, of course, in terms of this, you also have the uh, community dedicated to, uh, you know, talking trading 24 seven. So, yeah, if you want to see that chartchampions.com, I wish you a very good day indeed. Thank you ever so much. And for me, yeah, I am simply remaining patient. I have my short still from 67, have my long from the failed auction and waiting to see how this progresses over the next few days and opens itself up to the next probability trade setup. Cheers. Thank you and goodbye.